Hi guys, it's Mia, and I apologize about the really weird filming spot right now. Um, I have tried to film in so many different various places in my room, but it's nearly impossible, and the lighting is pretty much always going to be bad. But this is the best I have so far, so I apologize. But I am here with my back-to-school clothing accessory haul. Um, I know that a lot of schools don't start back till like, late August, but my schools this year decided to start back on August 8th. So, um... I'm starting back in like two weeks. So I got all my clothing shopping done because I'm going to the beach all next week and I'm really excited so I hope you guys enjoy. My first stop was Charming Charlie and if you haven't heard of them, um, they are a jewelry store and accessory store and clothing store but it's all accessorized by color. Um, so you'll walk in there and there's different tables and it's all by color or like they'll, they'll have an entire table just for diamonds and stuff and I really love it and the prices are really good. I haven't seen anything in there over $50. Um, it's all statement and costume jewelry and I just, I go in there and I have a ball. So um, one of the first things I got was the shirt that I plan right now on wearing on my first day of school this year. This is what it looks like. It's super lacy and it's cinched right at the waist there as you can see and the sleeves are big and I just fell in love with it. It still smells like the store. Is it weird that I love the smell of the store? I just love the store. So this is the shirt that I plan on wearing. Next is this hat. It was on sale and I really like it. It's black and it's got a lacy kind of ribbon around it and it's kind of the mix, the mix, a mix, a mix between a fedora and like a cowgirl hat and that's why I liked it so much but um, I probably would wear it like this. But I mainly bought this for the beach to keep the sun off of my head um, because I really don't wear hats that much. But I decided I need a hat for the beach and this one was on sale so I figured why the heck not. And since that hat was on sale, I was able to buy another sale item for free. So I got this ring and I love it and I apologize again about the bad lighting. But this ring is just, it looks very marbly and kind of tribal and I think it'll go really great with my shirt that I just bought. I, I don't really, I shouldn't call it a shirt, it's more of a blouse, so I'm going to call it a blouse. And lastly, I got these earrings, and these are also kind of tribal and something I might not normally get, but I really liked them. And they are little arrowheads, and they're, they're dangling, obviously. Um, but I like the color, I really love like the rustic bronze colors, um, and they're just arrowheads, kind of showing off my heritage, but they also go really well with the ring, and like the sharp edges work really well with the ring, and I think it'll look great with my lace shirt. Next, I went to Play-Doh's Closet, and if you haven't heard of Play-Doh's, this is a second-hand store, but um, they sell all name brand and stuff, so you find really, really cute clothes there, and they're really good prices as well. And when I went to Play-Doh's this time, I was able to use my 20% off discount card because they have a stamp card, and I got it filled up, so I got 20% off. And I got more stamps as well. I'm like four stamps away from getting another 20% off, which is exciting. So um, I looked for shoes to go with my previous um, shirts that I showed you and other outfits for school. I didn't get many clothes this year, but I am happy with what I was able to get at Play-Doh's. So um, I'm not sure how well these shoes are going to go with the shirt, <laughs> the blouse. But they're really, really cute, and I love them. And so they are cowgirl boots. And I like the chains on them, really. I know, it's weird. But they're actually by Candy, so they're the Candy's brand. Um, and they're kind of just a dark brown, and I like the chains and the, I don't know. They kind of make me think of, like, Miley Cyrus and her um, Party in the USA music video. I don't know. But, yeah, so I just decided to get these, and that was, like, awesome. They're, like, ten bucks, so, yeah. And then I got a bunch of other stuff as well. This is an American Eagle tank top, and it's gray, and it's got sequin stripes all across it, and I love it. And then, um, actually, I saw this tank top and this blouse, or it was, it's more of a cardigan, on a one of the little figures, the model figures, and I like bought the whole outfit minus the, um, minus the pants. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. And so this is the cardigan. And it's got birdies on it. And it's cinched at the back there. But I love it. And the way it was on there, it was the tank top and the cardigan. And then the cardigan was actually tied at the bottom, tied together at the bottom. And it looks so cute. And I had to buy it. So I'm very happy about that. And then also on that model was this necklace. 
and I don't know the brand of the necklace, but it's like a little pocketbook and it has like fringes down here and it opens. Yay! And it's long and it looks really nice. And the brand of the cardigan, I'm sorry, I'm looking for it. Uh, where is it? Burp, burp, burp. It's somewhere. It's at the top, probably. Kira? Kira? I don't know. It's cute, though. And then I got this off-the-shoulder um, top, and it's from Hollister. And I really just love the colors of it, and I'm definitely going to be taking this to the beach with me. And it's kind of wrinkly cause, because I fell asleep in it last night. So, uh, But this is my uh, over-the-shoulder. And then I got this little sundress, kind of, and I'm actually going to wear this at the beach. And it's from, um, it's by Exhilaration, which I think is sold at Target, because I own the underwear. Um, I know, awkward conversations. But I really like it. It crosses in the back, which I was trying to deal with just a second ago, like that. And then this is the front. It's super small. I know, it's hard to tell. But it's got anchors all over it, and it's like a navy blue, so um, I like it a lot, and it's cute. And I'm definitely be going to be wearing it to the beach. And lastly, what I got at play is I got a Betsy Johnson brown belt. It's just a thick belt, and it's got some studs on it. Yay! So that's it for clothes and accessories. So next, um, I went to Bath & Body Works, because I always got to get, like, some kind of scent, right? So I didn't get much, but I got one hand sanitizer, because I have, like, three or four at my house right now. But it's in um, Island Margarita, and this is my absolute favorite hand sanitizer by Bath & Body Works. I had it last year in class, and... People were just raving on it, but like, oh my jeez, it smells so good. I don't know what margaritas smell like, but it smells like an island, and I love it, so I just spilled like a whole bunch of it. But that's okay, because I can put it on my hands, and it's gonna, it's gonna smell good. Um, and then I got just a small bottle of Moonlight Path, um, this, just the body mist, and this has been out for years, and I just smelled it today, and I fell in love with it, and I had to buy it, so I'm gonna smell it again for you here. Uh, it smells so good. It's like such a subtle smell and um, it makes me happy. So I got the small bottle because I've kind of stopped buying bigger bottles from Bath & Body Works because I never use all of them because I got so many perfumes. And speaking of that, I got, they were selling like little tins there and it's pink on the inside. And so I'm going to put all my Bath & Body Works products in here to um, differ dif differentiate them from my regular perfumes and then all my Bath & Body Works in here. And then I got like a back to school book, and I know that sounds really, really lame. Um, I actually have summer reading to do, but I'm not supposed to have English till second semester, so I'm not going to do that until second semester, or like before second semester. Um, but I did get a book because I finished one, and this is one that I've really wanted to read. So it's, um, I think you say Lenobia, um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name. Lenobia's Val, it's by PC and Kristen Cast, and... They write the House of Night series, um, which is the series about vampires with a bunch of books. Um, vampires with a bunch of books. It's about vampires, but it's a bunch of books. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have like nine uh, House of Night books, and there's supposed to be like 12, so there's a lot. But they've started writing little House of Night novellas, and it's about minor characters' past lives. So there's one called Dragon's Oath, which I've already read, and now I'm on Lenobia's Vow, and then there's one called Neferit's Curse. I don't know how to say her name either, Neferit for something who and um so it's like minor characters um and their backstories so it's really interesting to read and it's really short too like i'm on chapter three and that's only like halfway through the book so um so i decided to get this because i'm waiting for the new house of night to come out and i guess i'm excited i don't know but i decided to share this with you but i'm waiting for the new beneath the glitter to come out by um ellen blair so i'm super excited about that um and i'm actually going to use that for my summer reading project for english but yeah. So I could talk all day about whatever I was just talking about. But so this was basically all of my clothes, accessory, random book. Um, haul for school. So I will have a back to school supply haul video up. However, I'm not buying any school supplies until after the first couple of days of school because I found out last year that a lot of teachers tell you what they want you to have um, for your classes. And so buying it beforehand and then not having anything that anyone wants is like a waste of money. So I'm just going to bring like a notebook and an agenda. I don't even have one of those yet. And uh, like a pen and just hope that it all goes well for the first three days of school. Okay guys, so I will see you later and maybe I'll do some updates from the beach, but um, I love you all. Subscribe. Bye!